there are some Android mods that require you to first disable Verity and verification before they can be installed. I know that before you can install a popular custom kernel on the newer Google Pixel phones, you must first disable those two flags for the vbmeta.image file. And if you're going from a device that has these two flags enabled to a disabled state, then you must do a factory data reset before booting back into Android. There are some people who are eager to disable Verity and verification when they first unlock the bootloader, since both require you to wipe the factory clean afterwards. But others may not remember if they have disabled these flags on their device. And sadly, we can't just look for an option in the settings app to see if they have been disabled or not. So in today's video, I want to highlight a Magisk module from Android community developer Cap and Trips that will tell you whether or not Verity and verification has been disabled on your device. And since this requires a Magisk module in, mo in order for the commands to work, naturally you must have root access with Magisk for this video to work. So to begin, we first need to download the ABV CTL Magisk module. I'm going to be including a direct link to download the same version of the module that I'll be using in this video down in the video description below. And you will also be able to find the GitHub link for this project down there as well. So once that Magisk module has been downloaded, we then need to install that module by opening up the Magisk application, tapping the modules tab at the bottom, and then selecting the install from storage button up here at the top. Browse to wherever you put that Magisk module on your device and then select it so that it can be installed. Once that module has been installed, we then need to reboot our phone so that the Magisk module can be activated. Now that the phone has been rebooted, we will either need to install a terminal application such as Termux, or we will need to open up a terminal window on our PC and connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable. If you choose to go with the PC route, then you're going to need to also enable USB debugging mode on your device. If you're going to be doing this from the PC, remember you will also need to drop into an ADB shell before these commands work. However, I'll be doing all of this directly on the device since that seems to be the easiest method. So after you have dropped into an ADB shell or after we have opened up the Termux application, we then need to get root access to the app. So we type in SU and press enter, and you should see a super user request prompt where we can then grant access for super user. Now the first command we'll be executing is AVB ctl space get dash verity. After we type that out, we're going to press enter. 
and it's going to tell us whether Verity is disabled or it is enabled. Now the second command we're going to need to type out is AVB CTL. space git dash verification and then press enter and again you're going to be told whether verification is enabled or whether it is disabled and we can now see that I have not disabled either Verity or Verification on this device. So I will need to do that before I can install any Android modifications that require those two flags to be disabled. This is a useful little Magisk module that can help us to figure out if those flags have been disabled or not which can save us a lot of time if we end up forgetting whether or not that has been done previously.